Fighters to the center of the ring for final instructions. All right, listen to my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Good luck, gentlemen. I am so excited for this one, Dave. Here we go, Pearl. Chris Wright wearing gray yet in the blue corner. John Gabbana wearing white, purple with gold. For royalty is what he said. I had a, an amazing, incredible um, pre-fight interview with him. Wow, those jabs by Gabbana are lightning. You know, this is his third fight in eight months. He is extremely motivated. He said he spent the last six months just in camp, in training, um, really embracing and honing the life of a warrior, the life of a fighter, and you see his skills. Chris, the karate kid right though, he's really looking forward to this fight. He feels like Gabbana doesn't respect him. Um, and, and is out to prove a point here. Wants to, uh, wants to go professional, and um, you know, he's got very clean strikes as well. And if you see, he's got a beautiful forward jab, pressing jab. Cabana with a huge overhand right just seconds ago. Cabana with lightning speed jabs, check lefts, good to the body. Cabana does not look like a social media influencer, Pearl. Oh, he's, Cabana he's looks in, like a, a professional fighter. boxer. He looks like a fighter, and he is. He's, he's transformed his life. He has an incredible story. Um, you know, just had a crazy lifestyle, drugs, like you said, celebrity, uh, influencer, YouTube guru, if you'd <laughs> say. Um, and just had this crazy lifestyle, drugs, partying, and I mean, he's completely transformed his life, uh, his body, his, his mindset, and is making his stamp in the boxing world. One fight at a time. We're so lucky to have him here underneath the Island Fights banner, his third contest. He's fought Supreme Patty, he's fought a, a Koa, two social media influencers himself. This time he fights Chris Wright, who is a he is a fighter, fights MMA, fights boxing. He's been under this banner around five to six times. This is his uh, toughest contest to date. Yeah, and, and Wright is coming forward. Wright, again, has a chip on his shoulder, doesn't feel like Gabbana respects him, and has a point to prove. I looked over his social media when I was doing my research, you know, and he, he wanted this fight. He had been calling for this fight for months. So he went and sought after Gabbana here, and Man, Gabbana looks clean and his, his technical ability, his progression is really showing tonight. Um, and he's, he's got a lot of composure for someone that's only been boxing for six years. So much composure. And we talked about that, the, the patience. And, and even for himself, not just in the fight, but in the transformation in his life, you can't expect results right away. You have to chip at it day in and day out. And the results will eventually show. So Pearl, after that round one, if you're in the corner of John Gabbana or Chris Wright, what would you uh, tell him to change up or adapt or, or keep things how they are? I think that uh, Gabbana has such beautiful long range punches and just to keep snapping them like he is, keep snapping that jab, that one, two. And for Wright, he needs to utilize his jab. He does not really have a jab. And um, you know, he's got some powerful strikes. You can see that. A little fancy feet here. Okay, okay. Again, and there's the composure from Gabbana. He's doing a great job of staying composed, letting letting him letting Chris dance. Let you know, letting Chris him dance. move. But I think Chris is trying to get himself into this fight, trying to feel a little bit of a rhythm. He's kind of just been stuck out of place almost for the first round and a half. He's having a hard time fighting openings. Look at those are big strikes, big ones and twos from Gabbana. And and that's the problem is Wright is not finding any openings, and it's due to not having a jab. He's, he's looking to counter. Oh. Huge shot there by Cabana. Big overhand right. And that that was because of the composure of Gabbana. He's not rushing this fight. He's not allowing for Wright to take him out of his fight game here. He's just staying tight and staying, staying true to his technical skills and his, his technical abilities at this point in his career. 30 Ooh, seconds left to round two. A beautiful pivot by Gabbana there. 
And Rice throwing heat here. He's not throwing light shots. These are heavy, heavy shots that he's throwing. Oh, big shot there by Chris Wright. Gabana's in a fight, right? He is, and he's he's composed. He looks, I think, dynamite. Incredible, incredible progression in just three fights, six months. Round two officially in the books. We will go to the final round. Wright did a great job at the end of the second round of pressing forward and coming forward with his strikes, closing the distance. Gabbana's got a f doing a fantastic job of staying long and rangy and, um, and patient and composed. And when you have a fighter that's technical and patient, you've got to make it ugly. You've got to come in and disrupt their rhythm, disrupt that composure in some sort of way. And you do that by pressing forward. You do it by throwing crazy shots and making just making it an ugly fight. And Wright did a great job of doing of doing so at the end of that second round. Um, but you got to believe, looking in the corners, of how composed. It was, to me, a, a huge statement. Chris Wright looks in phenomenal shape, but Chris Wright was the one in that side-by-side, -side, breathing a little bit hard, breathing a little bit heavy. John Gabbana was the one who just looked, you know, hey, this is a Sunday afternoon. Composed. What's next? Composure. It's huge. And hats off to Gabbana for being so composed and rising to the occasion in this moment. Both men throwing big shots here to start round three. Nice, clean ones and twos. That hurt, that right hand hurt right. Uh -oh. Pack it forth, they go. Huge shots. Clean ones and twos. Ooh. Clean ones and twos from Gabbana. Barry What's Downs Jr. so impressive to me is how composed Gabbana's. Gabbana's had his job broken severely and has been through traumatic experiences with getting hit, and none of that is affecting him in his fight today. None of that is affecting him in becoming this professional fighter that he's seeking to be. You know, and he's just wearing it and, uh, and showcasing that he really is transforming himself into a, a true fighter. Wow. Phenomenal story, phenomenal fight, phenomenal night here at Island Fight 72. Right in Cabana throwing bombs here towards the end of round three. Beautiful right hand. Great job by Cabana of staying tight there, not allowing. Here we go, 15 seconds left. Gabbana versus Wright. Beautiful job, there you go. Nice job getting off the fence there. And Wright is just bringing the action to him. He's doing a great job of finishing this fight out and bringing the and putting heavy pressure on Gabbana here. Not being deterred at all by Gabbana's skills. There it goes. What a fight. Great fight, <laughs> great fight. Because people, of course, when you see a, a social media influencer, or even we've seen, of course, with Jake Paul, and we've seen it with Logan Paul, and now with Gambana, you know, could be pushing 3-0, they never get the respect they deserve outside the uh, ring, of course, and inside the ring. It's be no, a great and, fight. And to not only overcome this moment in this fight, but to overcome all of the obstacles that Gambana has been through, drugs, you know, just the stardom, the the crazy lifestyle and and to to overcome all of that and still step inside of a ring against a fighter who is looking as we see to take his head off right. and fight with such composure and discipline is impressive and hats off to Wright for not being at all intimidated by the stardom of Gabbana for coming in here and really trying to win this fight and take Gabbana's head off like he said he was going to um, but ultimately, I believe that Gabbana's, it was the ones and twos from Gabbana yeah. that uh, that played big dividends in this fight. Especially earlier, I thought Gabbana was beautiful, had beautiful boxing technique early in the fight. Towards the end, we were seeing the shots. We were seeing big, heavy haymakers. We cannot wait to see the results here. Island Fight 72, the co-main event, right.
versus Gabano. And you know, hats off to Gabano. Again, only been fighting for six months, and Wright has been fighting a much longer and, and, and does mix six martial years. arts. Six years. Impressive. Both gentlemen, what a great fight. Both display of skills by both men and heart. All right, we go to our ring announcer, Christopher James, with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the belt identically, 30 to 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and still undefeated, John Gabbana! What a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, John Gabbana. John, what an impressive display of progression, of composure, of skills. How do you feel about your performance? Oh, I feel good. First off, I want to thank God. I want to thank my beautiful girlfriend, Victoria Rose. I think she was standing right there. She right there. I want to thank all my friends and family who came. I got people who, who drove five hours to come and support me. I just want to thank everybody, all the fans, and I love everybody. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing. Oh my goodness, your ones and twos played a huge dividend in this fight. Was that the game plan coming into this fight? Was to utilize your long range punches? Uh, it wasn't. I was trying to get more so to the body, cause I know he don't, he he don't handle pressure good. So I tried to get an inside, but he, he used his long range pretty good. So. I really, I really couldn't get in the inside like I wanted to, but I went back to the one-two and it worked. He did, he had a lot of forward pressure. He had a lot of forward momentum coming into this fight. He was swinging for the fences. He was coming for your head. And ultimately it was that composure, that patience that you and I talked about before this fight that really played a big role in, in, the, in the success of your fight tonight. Um, was any of his shots, did any of them phase you at all? No, nah, not at all, I ain't no. I, it, was, it was pretty good looks, but it ain't doing nothing. Three fights in eight months. What is next for you, John? Oh, I'm gonna go back home and get back in the gym, ready for uh, ready for the next fight. Well, we are are absolutely loving the improvement here. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, John Gabbana. Congratulations, what a night. John Gavana, undefeated 3-0, all under the Island Fights banner.